You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off-screen and on. Just like you, I was strong-willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the clique and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I promise, if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Glad we could finally talk. Especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? A lot, actually. He's been a success both inside the ring and outside guiding the Hurt Business. Sounds like MVP's gotten to you already. But I know he's a big talker, which is about all he can do these days. Unlike me. So, why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in RK Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time, Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type. And I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet, but with my help, you will be. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. This is a huge decision. I need more time to think it over. Fine, but I'm not gonna wait around forever. Let me know soon, before it's too late. Understood. Intercontinental Champion, The Lock. It's a pleasure, man. I've enjoyed watching you tear it up so far on Raw. And they weren't wrong with all that hype, which is why I wanted to talk to you. I'm relaunching the Hurt Business, and I want you to be the centerpiece, the new CEO. The last version had issues. I couldn't keep track from one week to the next if you were together, broken up, or who was even in the group. You're not wrong, which is why I am going to do it right this time. And that starts with you. I mean, look at what I did for Bobby Lashley. I helped elevate him to become WWE Champion. And I can do the same thing for you, but faster. Since, let's be honest, 
Bobby was a bit of a rehabilitation project, but you, you're ready for prime time. So, who else do you have in mind for the group? I'm reviewing a lot of top candidates, but don't worry about that. No matter who else joins, the lock is going to be the guy, the focus of the group. Every decision the Hurt Business makes will be to further your individual success first. That all sounds good. Assuming you're not just saying all this to get me on board. I'm not. Trust me. I see big things in you. So what do you think? You ready to make the best decision of your life? I still need more time to decide. I totally get it. Think it over and do what's best for you. Hopefully, that means joining my side. I'll let you know. Any update on what we discussed? You ready to do business? <laughs> you sold me. I'm ready to join the Hurt Business. All right, let's go. Now, like I said, you have all the tools and you're ready for prime time. But I think with some extra work, I can get you to a whole other level. Just like I helped Bobby Lashley become the Almighty. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Sounds good. See you then.
Joining Hurt Business feels like a major milestone in my career. Holding the Intercontinental Championship has been huge, but this seems like it could be the start of something bigger. You think this will be any different, though, than the previous Hurt Business that ultimately fell apart? I know MVP can sometimes say one thing and do another, and he talks a big game. So I'm going to keep my guard up. But I'm hoping he means everything he said. Would it be safer to just rely on myself? Yeah, but I'm trying to trust the process. Any clue who else will be joining this new Hurt business? MVP said he's still looking for the ideal third member to complement my skills. I guess we'll find out who that is soon enough. Well, someone is arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. We heard rumors that MVP was reforming the Hurt business. And this must be it. But who else is in the limo? It's the lock. What a crew MVP has assembled. MVP might have done the legwork, but it looks like the lock is calling the shots as the new CEO. The Hurt Business is back and stronger than ever. We got people talking, but now I want to put all of WWE on notice. Let them know the Hurt Business runs this show. And the best way to do that is by building up our assets AKA acquiring more championships. You think I'm ready to go after the WWE title? I do, but let's build up to that. I've used my influence to get us a match for the Street Profits Raw Tag Team Championships. So we just need to beat the Street Profits? Easy. I like your confidence, but it's not just the Street Profits. It's a triple threat match with them and the team of Theory, and Damian Priest from Orton's new version of Evolution. <laughs> Apparently everyone's doing reboots these days. Imitation is admiration. But enough about them. I've decided you two will represent the Hurt Business in the tag title match. That's why I recruited you in the first place, to win these types of high stakes matches. And I know you'll deliver. You want us to acquire more championships? Well, after this match, I'll be holding two. We got this. It's two-thirds of the Hurt Business ready for tag team action. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. And it's for the Raw Tag Team. Introducing the challenger at a combined weight of 430 pounds, E. Bad Stone Hart and Gabriel Slate, the Hurt Business. The Intercontinental Champion and Gabriel could reshape this entire tag team division if they click tonight. Sure, if the Lock's actually ready for a partner. combined weight of 469 pounds, Damian Priest and Austin Theory Evolution. <laughs> and at a combined weight of 492 pounds, they are the Raw Tag Team Champions. Angelo Douglas and Montez Ford, the Street Profits. The Street Profits will defend the Raw Tag Team titles here tonight against Damian Priest and Theory. The brand new team of The Lock and Gabriel Slade. The Lock may have a new look and a new action, but he's looking to carry over his previous success. I for one can't wait to see if MVP's newest business venture lives up to the
time. Ooh. Now a pin for the championship. And he breaks the pin. The Fallaway Slam. Face first with a race line takedown. The two newest factions in WWE, Evolution and the Hurt Business, look to make their mark by capturing gold, but ultimately, the champions' experience teaming together prevailed. Not the outcome the Hurt Business and Evolution were looking for, but I'm sure this is not the last we've seen from them by a long shot.